Evening. This is a video update for Buy Sell Short on TRID. I figured I would do a special uh, video on this one just because it's kicked us in the ass here in after hours trading. Uh, as you can see, TRID, we were high fiving ourselves today. Chart looked great. Traded as high as a buck ninety nine after the open. Looked really, really good. Since Friday, the stock is up from a dollar seventy nine. 20 cent move looking fantastic into CES. This is one of our CES plays. Um, the lesson being here uh, charts can only take you so far. News trumps charts every single time. And unless you're an insider or a friend of the CEO or a hedge fund, a schmoes are never know, gonna know what the news is that's out there. As you can see, uh, TRID warned in after hours. Not really a surprise. They warned that their fourth quarter was going to suck anyway. It's seasonally a very weak quarter for uh, TRID sector. But the timing here, someone slap the investor relations uh, manager upside the head. Day before CES, after putting out a very nice press release yesterday, they come out and issue an earnings warning, catching everyone off guard. Uh, one has got to hope that they're saving some very nice press at the CES show, and that's why they came out with the bad news ahead of time. But, you know, I really hate when companies pull this kind of shit. Just total stupidity and absolutely nothing we can do. Stock is getting hammered in after hours. Did we do anything wrong in this trade? I believe we did not. We actually lucked out, in my opinion. Uh, you recall in the chat room yesterday, I was actually complaining about uh, TRID releasing their CES press release on Monday when they should have done it today or tomorrow to build up even better momentum. And for that reason, we didn't load the stock yesterday, and that actually looks like it uh, was a saving grace for us. So we really would have been pissed off on this TRID trade here. Looking at the chart, it was a CES play, momentum play. We had a very nice chart set up. Remember, we were cautious on this one last week, and we were waiting for that break of the 50-day moving average at 185 to even consider adding to the position. So, you know, we played this trade right. It broke out of its downtrend line today. CES is in a day's time. Great, great setup. Nice volume. Uh, we just got blindsided by news that no one knew was coming except the few people who got leaked it going into the close, which is why we saw that uh, weakness uh, last half hour in TRID. So this one sucks. Uh, I'm pissed off as anyone else on TRID. And once this trade is over, I'm adding this stock to our ban list just because whenever companies pull this kind of crap, I don't want to deal with a stock like this ever again. Now, the sell-off and after hours, a little bit ridiculous. As you recall, TRID uh, issued a warning a quarter ago as well, so it's not uncommon for TRID to do this. Just the timing is uh, really, really bad for them to do it. Usually they do it towards the end of the quarter. Right now they're doing it right before CES. Well, last time when they did that warning, it had a big bounce the next day from the after-hour sell. So hopefully we will see the same thing again on this one tomorrow and a spike back up hopefully to the 200-day moving average around, you know, 170 is what we'd hope for. But, uh, you know, this sucks. Learning lesson. Um, and, you know, if I was to give another lesson out of this, what we saw happen in TRID today is a reason why you never go all in on stocks. I mean, I know it's common sense for a lot of traders, but you have a lot of rookie traders who think a stock is really, really good, load the stock up, and then you get blindsided by news like this that you never know is coming. So, you know, if there was another lesson on this one to be learned, uh, never load up a stock. Other than that, I believe we played this one uh, exactly as we should have played it. Uh, we couldn't have played it any better. Bad trades, bad news is going to hit stocks. It's inevitable. No one trades 100% and, you know, just take solace in that. And that's it for the update on TRID.